Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Carriato. Welcome to this beautiful morning. As you listen with a, an attentive ear to the wisdom that is to come forth today. And so as you join on, be expectant, be hopeful. There's just going to be such a divine truth of God's word revealed to your members to bring encouragement. Amen. I see Beck Cook. Thank you for joining in. It is so awesome to have you. And so let's look at today. The thing that the Lord wanted me to share with you today is yesterday is gone. Don't take yesterday's issue into today. And so the analogy that God gave me was an awesome analogy. <clears throat> and I think about it from yesterday. So I was wearing my Alabama Crimson Tide shirt and it is crimson. Therefore, <laughs> as I was out walking yesterday and I stopped and talked to a couple of people, I looked down at my shirt and I noticed a coffee stain. But because it was crimson, it just wasn't so obvious to the eye. And I didn't realize that I was walking around yesterday morning with a coffee stain on my shirt. And so this is the revelation that God brought me for today. Okay. It's going to say super blessed you. And it's going to be an amazing analogy that it will just make it real to you. This is the analogy. Imagine your favorite shirt, your favorite top, whatever that is. And imagine every day you get a small spot on it from either something you drank or you eat. Okay. You've eaten or drank. And so then imagine if you keep wearing your shirt every day and getting a little small drop of something you've drank or either eaten on your shirt and you do this every single day, you're going to be walking around with a top, your favorite top, by the way, that has all of this expression of drink and food on it. Okay. That is what it's like when we take issue from yesterday, things that have happened last week, things that happened last month, things that happened last year or a decade ago. And we just keep eating and chewing on those things. It is as though we're just taking it into every day and it is just staining our entire shirt. I mean, do you not think that people would be looking at you like, uh, do you know how to wash? <laughs> do you ever wash your clothes? <laughs> you know, I'm afraid to even ask. That is what it's like when you take troubles that you had yesterday, cares that you had last week, and you cannot take that into the new day. So many people are still living in yesterday that they cannot exist and be and just live in today. And they totally miss everything in life. And they're so busy caught up in the distraction of what happened or what occurred or what people did. Oh my goodness. When you're caught up in that, you don't realize that you're eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and you're judging others. So it'd be like going around with your stained shirt while other people had washed shirts, right? And you'd be looking at them like, you need to change your shirt and there's nothing on the shirt. But because you have all this stuff on your shirt, you actually realize later when you get into the house, how dirty your shirt was. And that shirt you had on was reflecting and projecting onto other people's pure, clean tops. I'm serious. That is what it's like where we are projecting yesterday's issue, last week's care. A decade ago, he did this, she did that. You have to let it go and you have to let the word wash you. I'm just making sure these women aren't walking too fast behind me. I was going to let them pass me. You got to just drop it. 
And so you do it by washing your laundry. That even, even the word says that we are to wash our garments, you know? And so how do we do that? Washing those garments are from the issue of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that has captivated our soul and brought the world into our body that has distracted and hindered us, okay? And so you have to eat the word, speak the word, and cling to the word. And you have to see others as Christ sees them, okay? So think about that. Be anxious for nothing, but in all things, make your supplications known to God. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. So saints, think about that. Yesterday, yesterday's gone. You know, I keep thinking about that shampoo commercial and some of y'all probably know that jingle of the shampoo commercial. It's like, wash that thing right out of my hair, wash that whatever right out of my hair. <clears throat> I can't remember, but that jingle keeps coming back to me. You just got to wash your mind and your emotions, okay? Wash it with a word. It is the best cleaning agent. So God bless you. Have an awesome day.